Sportsbit is powered by Bet Online, driving the opening odds market since 2001. Visit sportsbookreview.com to learn more about Bet Online and its A plus rated platform in the link below. Big game breakdown here on Sportsbit betting insight today. Let's get right into it. The Oklahoma Sooners minus three and a half, 163 and a half, the total against the Texas Tech Red Raiders. And look, we told you before the season started, the four teams we're going to talk about today on Tuesday, and then told you that Texas Tech would be the highest of those teams, highest ranking of those teams today. And what were the odds? I mean, we're talking about, obviously, the other two games. We have Oklahoma playing in this one, and then we have Texas A&M and Kentucky playing in the other one. And yet, it's the Red Raiders ranked number eight in the country right now with the highest ranking coming into this ballgame, Oklahoma. Number nine, count me a Chris Beard believer. His first season at Texas This is the guy who actually got the UNLV job. Said, nah, I'll take the Texas Tech job instead. Uh, left two days later. Uh, but his first season at Texas Tech, they went 18 and 14, 6 and 12 in the Big 12 and lost in the first round of the conference tournament. We said, all right, watch out for this team next year. Well, it's next year. Watch out for this team. 14 and 1 overall. Three and one straight up and against the spread in Big 12 play. They've beaten the spread by 42 and a half points in those three wins and covers in conference competition. Now, they have only played one true road game, but it was a pretty impressive true road game. 85-73 win at Kansas. They were seven and a half point dogs in that ball game. This is a Red Raiders team. And Chris Beard's really put together a good looking roster of a nice blend of experience and youth. They got the senior leader in Keenan Evans. Uh, you know, this guy's a monster. 17 points, almost four assists, back-to-back Big 12 Player of the Week uh, awards. And they got the fresh, you know, Zari Smith, number two in points and number two in rebounds. Jared Culver, number three in points and number three in rebounds. That's despite only zero, you know, and Smith hasn't started. Culver's come off the bench in every game but two. And the frosh, uh, David Moretti, 16 minutes a game. He's contributing as well. So why are these freshmen playing so well? You know, number two, number three scorer, number two, number three rebounder. Huh? Beard is saying that his upperclassmen have been good leaders. Quote, it's impossible to do it if you don't have internal leadership. Every coach strives for that. You look for it all the time, whether it's in pro sports or in college, certainly high school level. But I think, really, if you don't have internal leadership with your players, Understanding that you can't get too high or too low, it's really difficult from a coaching standpoint. What's Beard's done? Uh, what has Beard done uh, with his squad? Defensive pressure, man. Texas Tech, number three in the nation in defensive efficiency. Number three in the nation in forcing turnovers. 25.1% of opposing possessions have ended in turnovers. That's more than a quarter. <laughs> you know, they're number four. In steals, they've stolen the ball more than 13% of opposing trips uh, with the basketball. Those are impressive numbers. Now, we're talking about Trey Young, who has been clearly the freshman of the year. I went back and looked last night to see how many preseason lists he was on. He wasn't on very many. <laughs> you know, uh, But the last couple of games from Trey Young had some lessons to learn about pressure defense. Did the home win against Oklahoma State, six turnovers. He did have 10 assists. The 7 of 17 shooting in that ballgame. The loss at West Virginia over the weekend, that was ugly. Eight turnovers, five assists, eight for 22 shooting. So we're talking about, in his last two games, the Frosh Phenom point guard, 15 of 39, 15 assists, 14 turnovers. And yet last night, look on ESPN.com, what's the headline? Is Trey Young the next Steph Curry? Not to put any pressure on the Frosh just yet. Geez, Louise, settle down with this kid. I know he's had a good start to his freshman year, but the turnovers are an issue, and <laughs> he's playing against a defense that could give him a whole lot of trouble. Look, Lon Kruger's going to play fast against pressure. We've seen it already. Um, Oklahoma, number 11 in the country in offensive efficiency, even after that debacle against West Virginia the other day. Number three. In fewest seconds per possession, just 13.5 seconds per possession, they are pushing the pace. So we ask yourself, is Young more experienced because of the challenges that he's just faced in the last two games? Or is this a kid that might have lost a little bit of confidence going against a team 
that's playing confident basketball right now. Oklahoma, they're a passive defensive team. You know, number 252 enforcing turnovers. Although, when it comes to half-court defense and getting back in transition, Lon Kruger's teams are always stellar. The Sooners, number eight, number 48 defensively and defense efficiency overall. Strong opinion here. I don't have one. Interesting game to consider. No surprise. I guess if I'm, I'm going to play, I will take the points with the Red Raiders. The one road win in Kansas has shown me this is a team that may well be worth paying attention to when it comes to winning games on the highway. Red Raiders are pass for me, although at the current number, frankly, it's a pass. We'll see if we can catch an extra point or two between now and tip-off. Maybe we'll get involved. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry-leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now, the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.